Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Vlogs. Glad to have you. Yeah. Thanks for coming, guys. Um, we have a good idea that some of you will remember that involves this. We need to go get the rest. Yeah. Let's go get them real quick, and then we'll tell you, for those who don't know what we're about to do. <laughs> Just emptied all the Nerf guns out of the Nerf rival here. And what are we going to do? We're going to freeze them and shoot them at us. Our very, purpose. Very good idea. Not I'm not sure what the best way to go about this. Well, it's like a challenge. I don't know what the challenge is, but we're going to freeze these bullets and then just... Frozen ouch. Frozen bullet challenge. So put some water in the bow. Yeah. Okay. So they're all wet. I can wait to get them. So we're going to just let them sit while we go out and do some errands today, and then later, during this vlog, we will we'll do that. Oh yeah. In other news, check out the new office space. Do -do -do -do. Um. Yeah. Not much going on in here, but. We got a printer and a desk and so some wall art. But we got some cool things in the works that this space will help us do. So yeah, we'll tell you about that soon, but not yet. Ow! Stop making Snapchats! <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed something about you, Buford. Want to know? You have lemon meringue pie in your ear. <laughs> it's like all hard and stale. You need a bath. Ew. It's like in both his ears, like right there as well. How did you get pie in your ears, bud? <laughs> Check out how freaking nice it is out today. The snow is melting. The skies are blue. I am happy. So, me and Andrew are at Village Inn now. Why don't you explain? So, um, Village Inn is doing a campaign for Mother's Day, and they hit me up, Justin up, and Brittany up if we could, you know, promote their pies on Instagram. So, we're like, yeah, sure. So, we're coming here to pick up the pies, and yeah. We're gonna take pictures with them, it's awesome. I think we each get like three pies. They already ordered them for us, so it's like, we're just coming to pick them up and it should be good. Hey, babe, hey. you ready to pick up your pie? <laughs> yeah. Let's all go see what we got, what flavors. Orange. Would you look at all those pies. We're boxing up all these pies right now. Oh my goodness. All done with a quick lunch, and me and Andrew are going to the comic book store. Haven't been there in a while, so. I've only been there once, actually. Yeah, it's like a really cool, cool store. They got comic books, games, action figures. We'll show you guys what's in there. Comic books, Escape Velocity. Yes. Marvel is sold here. Have you ever read comic books, Andrew? Um, I did. I ran a. I read a. a, a, a Alien vs. Predator ones. Oh wow. This is so fun. We got so many comic books here. Superman, this wall here. We're trying to see if they have Munchkin comics. Munchkin comics. Come on. Now it's time for comic book reads with Andrew and Justin. Okay. Ah, oh, pop, pop, pop. Andrew, your turn. Oh. Concentrate on the precise moment in time where you need to return. That's it. That is it. <laughs> Hold still. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> I like this look for you. <laughs> guess how much this comic is. Take a wild guess, everyone. Cast your votes. And the price is 
70 dollars is this like an original it must be that's a good markup 50 cents was original price <laughs> what and it's 70 bucks wow yeah we just asked him where the most expensive one is he said over here these are pretty expensive like 10 dollars for these 15 20. but my goodness this is the prize guys me and Drew just came up with an idea um one day we buy a comic a, a random one make maybe an old one like this one rangers in action and we use the comic ex as the script and we make a short film exactly like the comic as best as we can do you guys like that idea i do there's a bunch of there's so many comics so we can have like comic comic weeks all these drawers have just like tons of comics oh my gosh so epic so we can find some really fun ones and we can do this one and stuff. Dinosaurs. She-Hulk. I didn't know that existed. Guess now it does. That's the complete collection, dude. Wow. What is that? Can. It's the Bay Can. I took the label off and it's really cool. Yeah, it does look like cool. Black and silver and red. Coffee time. Yay. Thanks, guys. Oh. Sweet, thanks. Yes, definitely. See you later. Yeah, definitely. Have a great one. Oh, I'm not in here, guys. Yeah. We'll see you next time. What? Why didn't she say anything? It's a school bus. Do you know where Duke's Barbershop will be? Duke's Barbershop. We are at Wendy's now because we saw they have a commercial for ghost pepper fries, which, and we don't think they're gonna be that hot, but we're gonna try them for you guys. So, some of y'all even told us to do that, but we're always up for a challenge. Ghost pepper fries? Yeah. Hi, can we get some ghost pepper fries? Extra spicy. Good one, bro. Pepper fries with extra ghost pepper sauce? Yeah. Yeah. Else this could be good, bro. That'll be it. That's good. If this ain't spicy, Wendy's is fired. All these fast food places keep advertising, oh, we got this so spicy sauce, and it's never spicy. Yeah, like those Taco Bell insane burritos or whatever they were. Yeah, those. Oh, yeah. We're splitting on fresh fries. Those weren't spicy. Maybe these will be a little spicy. We'll say, ow! They aren't. I just know. But we got them extra spicy. They, these people need to hold true to their word. All right. We'll give you a review shortly, folks. Here we go, guys. Time for the unboxing sisters of ghost pepper fries. <laughs> oh, wow. That's the ghost pepper sauce. Does it smell spicy? Hmm. It smells like buffalo sauce. This right here. Ready? There's too many fries. I'm trying to downsize. <coughs> it had a little kick to it. Wow. Okay. <coughs> it doesn't taste like a pepper. It tastes more like buffalo sauce. Yeah. If this was ghost pepper sauce, I probably would not be able to finish it. But this, I mean, it's got a good flavor. What do you say? It has really good flavor. It's got a little kick. Ghost pepper? No, but a little spicy? Sure. If you're looking for a spicy fry, yeah. This is a lot better than what Taco Bell did. This is actually spicy. Whoa, I got the hiccups. Uh-oh, spicy hiccups? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a little spicy, but I've had worse, so. Yeah, but not bad. Good job, Wendy's. Oh, crap. Hi, hi. We got some good pies over here. Yeah. You want to know the flavors? Yeah. That one is a Hawaiian pineapple strawberry. What's that one you got? I can't remember what this one is. It was like a caramel chocolate yeah. nuts. Cookie dough chocolate. Just finished getting the, the pictures and now it's time to try out the ice bullets. Just go in the garage. <laughs> we have to do this fast before the bullets melt. Oh my yeah. gosh, look at the size difference of this one and this one. Does one feel harder than the other? Yeah. All right, let's just put that one in. I don't know if this is gonna fit though. It doesn't even fit in the thing. 
It's so big. Oh, shoot. The frozen, like the really frozen ones, got bigger. We'll see if they fit. That one fits. Here's the frozen bullet. Ouch. Now try this. Huh? <laughs> you me. Hey. Hey. <laughs> There's still a little rubbery, so uh, I think this is just a fail challenge. We thought it'd be fun, but I didn't really think the balls would expand like that much where they didn't work anymore. <laughs> Crap. They hurt probably worse not iced. Yes. Yeah. Because they can actually go in there and shoot. Guys, we're playing Munchkin now. Aaron came over. We didn't vlog this, but yesterday, me, Brittany, Mary, Andrew, Aaron, and Nick. We played six players, and this took, how long do you think it took? Two and a half hours, I timed it. Really? Yeah, because we were all level nine, and anytime someone was about to win, we just hit them with like a trillion potion cards. It was so much fun, so we're playing it again. Definitely a very fun game. Thanks to all the people who left comments saying it was fun. Okay, so me first, here's me cards. Wow. I have some really good ones. This one's pretty powerful. Yikes. Uh-oh. Yay. And nah. So you start your turn with this, right? Yep. You can't play items when it's not your turn. Oh. A cleric. So this is a class card. Oh. What, oh. you want that? Yeah. Sorry, it's mine. Oh. I'm going to play this dwarf card because I want to be a dwarf because I have this armor that allows, they only can be used by dwarf men. So I'll play that. And then also have this, which can only be played by dwarfs. So that's cool. Basically the goal of this game, you rank up by killing monsters. And a monster, for example, would be something like this. See, it's a level 10, 12. And to beat it, you have to use your armor. So, yeah. It's your turn. I have to draw. Oh crap. What is that? It's a level 8 monster, which I can't beat, because we're all level 1. But this but you can, can help. play your items. Oh, play yeah. Your items, and then maybe Andrew can help. I can help, guys. See, Aaron just got a good card. He has to beat a level 1 boss, which... Can you do that? Wow. My so, buckler makes me level 3, so I beat Sits. To beat the monsters, you have to be a higher level than them. So he's in level one, plus two level, so three beats one. Good job. Thanks. It's getting intense. Aaron's getting close to winning level 10. Mm -hmm. Just got back to the house, uh, making some dinner right now with Brittany. And we got some mushrooms, chicken, salad, sweet potato. We're going to work out in like an hour at Orange Theory Fitness, so that's gonna be fun, but. Just got my protein shake ready along with Brittany's. My favorite flavor so far is vanilla and mocha. Brittany loves the chocolate, but yes. Daisy, you coming with us? Or do you want some potatoes? You work out hard. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I kind of don't want to go inside because it's so sunny out, but well. Hey, Eric. Are you, hey, are you excited to work out? I'm always excited to work out. Come on, I'm gonna go to cool places like you. How do you do that? Yeah, how do I do that? You just do it. You do it. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. It's a good, yeah, it works well. Right now he's going to the bathroom, so. Uh... <laughs> no, Eric's our uh, workout coach today. He's, he's awesome. Such a good personal trainer, man. All right, well, we're gonna put the camera away. Post workout. <laughs> See what new books they got here. Had a killer workout, by the way, just in case you're wondering. WTF are men thinking? I have no idea. What? Yes! I think you need this. Girls' world. How to get along with anyone, anywhere. You need this. There are so many good advice tips in here already. Which Powerpuff girl are you most alike? Oh my gosh. Captain Underpants? Well, I didn't get any books this time. 
I already have a few books that I haven't really read yet, so I'm just gonna stick with finishing those first. Plus, just going into the bookstore has got a, bunch, a lot of good vibes. I really like it there. But uh, now I'm in King Supers because I'm getting a quick snack. Maybe some watermelons or something. Just got back to the house. Hashtag yes. <laughs> Man, I'm relatable. Me and Brittany are just gonna wind down. Point Break. I've been wanting to see this since it came out, but I haven't yet. So hopefully it's good. If not, hopefully it's entertaining. Easy. <clears throat> so a quick question before we end the vlog. Um, I want to know what you guys liked about this vlog in particular. And what do you want to see more of? We know you want to see more toilet paper forts and stuff like that. But talking about this vlog... Was there anything that you really liked that we did? No, just a simple question that I wanna, we wanna hear you guys' input, so. Anyways, we hope you have a great rest of the day or night whenever you're watching this, and stay happy because you can. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. We did the first clip. It was terrible. Uh, I almost got punched, so. <laughs> <sighs> we deleted the clip, so. But it was just 